Hi everybody. Um, my name is Mike, and this is Virginia. Yeah, we're, we're both scientists, so we're gonna do a science experiment. Virginia, what do you think will happen if I put my hand over this, turn it upside down over this bowl, and take my hand away? It will not. It will splash. This splash? Yeah. Oh man, it got on me too. Okay. Um, here's another one. Do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to put my hand over it, turn it upside down, and take my hand away. What do you think is going to happen? Splash. It's going to splash? No, it won't. No, it didn't splash. Should we figure out why? Why? Alright, let's figure out why. Let's do a little, well, we're doing an experiment here. We're going to figure out why. This has to do with surface tension. Okay? Surface tension. So there's a difference between these two cups. Uh, one, there's nothing here. It's just a little, uh, you know, canning jar that's got a little, um, you know, lid on it, but there's nothing in there. This one has something here. There's a bit of mesh right here. Virginia, can you hold up the mesh over here so everybody can see? All right, so this is just sort of some mesh screening that we use on windows and screen doors and stuff. And that is right here. And that helps us increase surface area and surface tension. There, yeah, it does. Okay, so I think we're ready to do our experiment. Are we ready, Virginia? Yeah. All right, tell them what we need. Okay, I just went over it. Right. So we needed this. It's our screen. It's going to go on this little jar. On the thing. jar. That's what we need. Two of these. Two of those. One's okay. Well, Oh, okay, well, all right, then we do with well, how much do we need the water? Water and this measuring cup that can hold the water in this big blue. And the bowl. Okay, the bowl. so what we're going to do is we're going to pour the water into the, you know, into this container. I'm going to fill it all the way to the top, although you can figure out, maybe do an experiment, does it need to go all the way to the top? Don't know, right? That's why we do experiments. So I'm going to put my hand over the top, okay? I'm going to turn it upside down. Then we might need towels. And we might need towels. So I'm going to take my hand away. I'm and watching. it stays in. It stays in. Look at that. And the reason it stays in is because if water is going to pass through this screen, um, it's going to have to overcome something called surface tension. So basically, these water molecules are really sticky. They're great at sticking to each other. And they're better at sticking to each other than they are going through like this very fine mesh. Now, what do you think will happen if I tilt this? It will spill. You think so? You really think it'll spill? So if I if I tilt this, it'll spill. I... That's because I moved some air in, and as soon as that happens, I'm able to overcome those surface tension forces, and this will rush out. So now, do you want to see how we make this? Should we show them? No. No, I think we should. Okay. All right. So making this is pretty easy. All we got to do is we'll take a little piece of screen mesh that is, you know, a little, just you know, about the size of the opening here, and then we're going to take the open part of the lid for these jars, and we'll just press it on and screw it on, and that's it. That's how you make it. It's really straightforward. The cool thing is that you can pour directly through it, and that's the counterintuitive portion of this. Um, I can pour through it. But when I present this, it looks like it won't come out the other way. So that's very exciting. Now, there's another way we can make the same thing if you don't have those materials. Um, you will need some kind of screening material that works really well. The other thing we can do is we can take a smaller glass, and this might work better for smaller hand, like this is a, uh, a small, um, you know, drinking glass. And you put the screening over that, and then I have one of my daughter's hair scrunchies. Virginia, this is your hair scrunchie. And we just put that over the top. A rubber band will work just well, just as well. And we have the exact same thing. And we can pour the water into this one all the way up to the top. And it should work just fine. So that's it for Virginia and I. Uh, remember, it's surface tension that creates this phenomenon. So again, water can go in through this. And then when we Turn it upside down. We use the surface tension of water to keep it in there. A little bit spilled out, but to keep it in there. And you notice I've got a little air bubble up here. So have fun with this experiment. Try figuring out what's the most amount of water or the least amount of water you can do this with and still see it. So have fun. Say goodbye, Say goodbye Virginia. Bye.